Good day, class. It's Paul Young here, your online tutor for digital citizenships for the HCVPPW course. Welcome back. Today we just need to discuss how it is we use Blogger to set up a brand new blog. We're going to use it to, to set up a blog and to create this assignment blog. So if you start up Google Chrome and go to a new window and click on these three little squares that you've got over here which are actually the Google apps so if you click on those you will see a whole lot of apps come up down the side such as YouTube, Google Drive, Google Play, Google Maps etc. If you scroll down a little bit you should see the blogger orange icon come up. If you don't you can just simply click on even more from Google and it will bring them up. So if we click on the orange icon it will start Google Blogger which you can see it's starting up over there. I have a lot of blogs so obviously it's, it's put them all in but I'm now going to create a new blog. So going over here I'm going to just scroll down to the bottom it says new blog. So I'm going to call this um, ATVPP1W DIPC5110 assignment blog. For the name of this blog, it will always end up being something.blogspot.co.za. So what you will call it is I'll, I'm going to just copy this like this and paste it in here because it's easy to do. And I'm going to abbreviate assignment to just simply ASS. And I'm going to I'm going to use my, my APS number, which is like your student number, it's just to make it a unique name. So As you can see from over there, it's kind of auto-completing as I type in, which is a good idea. It's saying, sorry, this blog address is not available. That simply means that I'm, silly me, I've used that already. So that's all that means. You've just got to check that it's available. It's once again saying that it's just not available at all. So um, I'm going to have to be able to create it here and maybe change it to... Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just call it D-I-G-C. It seems to like that, D-I-G-C 202061.blogspot.com. I can now click down here because it's saying it's available, so that will now become my new blog address. It's got the title. I can now say create blog. This will take a little while because it's got to do it online. It's got to bring in all the HTML and coding that's required and it will then go and create this blog. You can see it's busy over there and there is my new blog. Now, just a few things to understand about it. You can do these three posts. If you click here, for instance, and you click on new post. Um, it's loading, excuse me, it takes a little while to do that. Um, I'm just going to call this Hello World because that's how most of these sorts of things start. That's going to be the title and, and there's my post. I can then click publish. It's going to publish it and there you go. You, you can actually see it. Now it's possible to edit it if you don't like it and you can and you can change it and then you can click update and it will update. 
Um, now what you can do is there's this view blog, so you can click on that, and that will take you off to what the blog is now really going to look like. Okay. While that's loading, I'll just go back to here. This is known as your editor. Now your editor is really like the word of blog, so it will show you what you can edit. Whereas, and also another thing to note is it's got an invalid blog address. So if you submit an assignment with this blog ID, it's not going to work. Instead, you have to use this blog ID over here. Now, you can see there's my Hello World post over there, and I can click on it, and it will open the page up. Now, a few things to note. This is quite a boring page, so we're going to just shut that down for the moment. Um, and the assignment requires us also to, to have a whole lot of pages. In fact, one page for each question. So... Clearly, what we need to now do is add pages, and for that, we need to go down here. So, you have the capability in Google Blogger to add new pages. Now, if you click on the new page, you can create them. So, I'm going to call this question 1.1. This will be like my blog question 1.1, as it were. And I'm just going to click publish. Um, I'm going to add another page. Um, and this will be question 1.2. And again, I'm just going to click Publish, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to edit it because I left the full stop out, so I'm going to put the full stop in. Notice how you can just go back, Edit, Update, Edit, Update, etc. And I'm going to keep adding pages just to create the blog structure. Remember, what I'm doing here, I'm actually creating the blog structure. So there's quite a few questions, so I'm just going to add the pages in like this and publish them one by one. Um, another new page. This is going to be question 1.4. And that's now the blog structure for question 1.1 to question 1.4, which is the entire question 1. Question 2, I'm just going to quickly go through that. Question 2.1, and again, I'm going to add a new one in, um, it's just taking a while to load, um, be patient with this, it really is taking a while to load. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long. It really is taking long. Um, never mind, we'll just go back to Blogger. It's taking me quite a long time. Let's just wait for a while. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's the page come back. Um, don't know what happened there. Um, Okay, right, so that's now adding pages. So we have some pages. If you look over here, you, you should see them. Notice it's saying all and it's saying publish. Now, what I wanted to show you here quickly is, let's say I add another page, okay? So, question 2.2. Watch this. I'm going to just save it for the moment. So I haven't published it yet. And if I go back to this, notice now what I've got here. I've got a total of six pages. Five are published. One is in draft. Now, that's quite important because the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make these pages get displayed on the blog. Because if you look on the blog now, you'll notice the pages are not displayed. I mean, you can see the post button, but you cannot see the pages. So how do we make these pages be available? We go to Layout, right? Um, in Layout, we've got this cross-column tool over here, and we can add a gadget. So I'm going to click on Add a Gadget. It will bring up a window, which will allow me to add what's called a page gadget over here. It's this thing over here, and you can click on it like that, and you can add it in, and you can save it. What that will now do, once you've saved it, you will notice you have got a Pages gadget sitting there. What you now do is you can edit it. So if you edit it like that, 
you'll notice my pages. Now, if I click them all in, look what happens on the right. They suddenly all get displayed. Okay. Now, let's work with that and see what happens. If I click to save over here, and I click save arrangement, <coughs> excuse me, and I now go back to view blog. I'm going to close that down and I'm going to go back to view blog over there like that. And notice it opens up my blog. Look there, you can see there are all my new pages. But what you first notice is that they're out of order. So how do we fix that? Well, that's quite easy. We can close that down. We can go back to our pages gadget over here and we can edit it. And we can move stuff around as I'm doing here. Now you can see they are all in order. Once again, you just click save over there like that and it will save it. And if you click view blog again, you should now see the pages are now in order as you can see. What do you notice that is strange about this? There is no question 2.2. Now why is that? Alright, well let's have a look at that. If we go back to our pages gadget over here and we look at it, we can see that there's still no question 2.2 for some reason. Now why is that? Okay. The reason is that we need to, in our pages, go back and we need to change the status of the one in draft to be published so that we have six that are in fact published. So let's do that. How do we do that? We go to draft over there. We can select that. And we can just say publish. And it will now move it out. We can see drafts are empty. All the pages are published. Such that if you go back to layout and you go back to your pages gadget over here, you will now see that you have the option of adding in your 2.2. Look what it does. It brings it in at the bottom. The order seems to once again be correct so much so that we can now click save and we can look at the blog. And you will notice the difference from the new blog address. There are all my pages versus in this tab over here, my one page missing. We'll close that tab down. As you can see, the pages are currently unpopulated. How do we populate those? We'll get to that just now. The next thing we need to look at is, this is a very ugly orange blog. How can we change it to make it look a bit better? Well, we can go back to the editor over here again, and we can look at the feed. In the theme, we've actually got a lot of options at the bottom that we can choose from, which we can customize. So we're going to do that. We're going to click on Customize over here, and we're going to change it to something that's probably a little bit more palatable and nicer for you. This takes a little while to, to load. Um, picture window is quite nice. I quite like that. So I'm going to choose picture window, and it gives me these options over here, and I'm going to choose that one there, okay, which gives me a blog that looks like that. So that's what the blog is going to look like. Now, we can go apply to blog. If we do that, it will change. You'll notice my blog will change. There we go. That's my blog. It's going to look like that. Now, at this stage, I can go back to blogger or I can view my blog. I'm just going to view my blog in a new tab like that and I'm going to open my blogger in yet another tab so we can see what they look like. Okay. That's the editor as you remember with the pages okay, and my layouts and my posts and here is my new blog, and look at its layout. It's actually now quite nice. It's got a nice cloudy background, and it's all set up for us. What do we do now? Well, there's not much to do now, and this ends our little session for today. We'll be back with a bit more blogger tools later on.